Hello, Lionel community. This is Randy. Calico Silver has come up with a thread where we are supposed to choose our favorite band uh, from each letter of the alphabet and then from that band to choose our favorite album by that band and you know, show that record. It uh, doesn't have to be a record. It could be a CD, I think, or uh, any format you have, tape. Uh, so I'm going to give that a try. I, uh, I saw Calico Silver's uh, version of this and also uh, uh, Speaker's Corner. Uh, Jeff did one of these. I have avoided seeing any others uh, since then because I didn't want to be influenced. Uh, so yeah, we're supposed to choose our favorite band uh, from each letter of the alphabet. I will tell you I can find this just to, uh, I guess, rock and roll oriented. I, there's no jazz in here. and. Um, I was going to try to avoid the ones that uh, Jeff or Calico Silver had picked, but you know that's really not possible because, well, if I'm really going to choose my favorite band, then uh, there's going to have to be some duplication. So uh, anyway, but I gave this quite a bit of thought, so it's, uh, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to choose some of these. Uh, well, here we go. Arctic Monkeys. <clears throat> favorite Worst Nightmare. comes with an inner sleeve. I really am not going to say anything about these records. Uh, uh, th these are just my, yeah, my, my favorite uh, artists from this letter of the alphabet and then my favorite record. So uh, B was probably the, the most difficult letter. I was not able to choose the birds, Jeff Beck, Black Sabbath, Blue Oyster Cult, because of the Beatles, so uh, this is Magical Mystery Tour, so I did choose the Beatles as my favorite B band, and I've picked, uh, yeah, Magical Mystery Tour is my favorite album, I think, you know, I, uh, I, I like all the songs up here that are from the movie, but I really like all these, uh, the ones that were included on the American version with, I guess it was like the singles that they released, uh, so. Uh, C is Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young, Deja Vu, on the back of that, Dr. Dog, Be the Void, what, um, current American bands, probably one of my favorite American bands, let's see, inner, inner sleep, that with the words, uh, the Still actively playing today, so Dr. Dodd, Be the Void, I, uh, <clears throat> my next choice was uh, Electric Light Orchestra, you know, kind of hard to pick a favorite Electric Light Orchestra, but I decided to go with um, El Dorado, uh, I think mostly because this has a uh, Can't Get It Out of My Head is on here, uh, you know, I could have got one new world record, uh, <clears throat> Flaming Lips, Telepathic Surgery, this is their album from, I think, about 1989 or so. I, uh, it comes with uh, lyrics on the inside, pictures of the band. I, uh, I probably would have chosen uh, Cloud's Taste Metallic or Yoshimi uh, Battles the Pink Robots, but I don't have those on record, so I, I went with that one. <clears throat> Grateful Dead, Earth by the Sun. Jimi Hendrix, Rainbow Bridge. This has a cool uh, label. This is a reissue. All these, all these really are reissues. There's nothing original here. Well, this one original. Interpol Annex. This just came out last year. <clears throat> I'm sorry. This is not Antics. Uh, this is a Marauder. I chose uh, Marauder as my uh, favorite Interpol. Uh, came with a inner sleeve with lyrics. I, uh, Justin Airplane, I, uh, it's hard to choose. Serialistic Pillow, Crown of Creation. But I chose After Bidding of Baxters, The Kinks. I was going to pick Kings of Leon, uh, 
but then I just had to consider the whole body of work. I mean, the Kinks just have so many more albums. Uh, I was going to pick Arthur as my favorite one, or maybe something else, but, yeah, really, the Village Green Preservation Society, I, I think, is the most obvious one. But anyway, that's the one I went with. Um, this cook graffiti. Uh, for the longest time, I thought that uh, Presence was my favorite uh, Led Zeppelin album, but I was exchanging texts with someone in the VC, and I came to the conclusion that uh, Physical Graffiti really is my favorite, if, if only because it's a two-record set, and so there's more songs on it. One of my all-time favorite records. <clears throat> if you can believe your eyes and ears. And the Mamas and the Papas are one of my all-time favorite bands, so really happy to pick this one. Love this right. This is a mono uh, reissue from Sundays from a few years ago. Who knows? I don't have the uh, individual albums, but this was a... This is really just both of the albums packaged together. Uh, I think this came out in the late 70s or early 80s. So I'm going to pick the first New York Dolls album, the one with Personality Crisis. Looking for a kiss, Vietnamese baby, Lonely Planet Boy. Great, great album. Uh, Opal. Early recordings. Opal is uh, Dave Roback and Kendra Smith. Uh, part of the, I guess, the early 80s, uh, you know, Southern California, sort of the psychedelic. What was that movement called? I can't think. Most obvious album in the world, but Pink Floyd is my favorite P band, and and Dark Side of the Moon is my favorite Pink Floyd album. I I like all their albums. Uh, the first one, the one with Sid, so prominently featured, is could also possibly be my favorite. But I think that really overall, I probably listen to this record as much as anything else that I have, and such a great record. Love Dark Side of the Moon, Queen Two. Favorite Queen album. I really like um, Father to Son on here. Rolling Stones, kind of like with that uh, Led Zeppelin album. I will choose this as my favorite, if, if only because there's two records and therefore more songs. Exile on Main Street. Probably my favorite band. Yeah, Grateful Dead, Birds, Beatles, Small Faces, Traffic. This is a compilation album, Immediate Hits, Mod Rarities. This is a <clears throat> two record set. Picture on the inside. Actually, a triple. A couple more photos there. Uh, this is a compilation. Uh, it's really hard to choose a favorite Small Faces record because well, I mean, they were kind of different in the U.S. And uh, you know, Ogden's Not Gone Flake is a great album, but you know, gosh, I really like their individual songs. Prior to that, I mean, just as much. I like them all. I I have a compilation, a box set of Small Faces where Pete Townsend's talking about them, and he says on there, every single song they recorded is great. Absolutely true. Every single Small Faces song is just great. So, this is what I'm taking as my Small Faces record. There was another compilation called The Autumn Stone. They had this for the cover, more or less, so. This is the later compilation. Uh, traffic. Low Spark of High Hill Boys. Came with a cool enter. Lights out. Uh, I thought it was going to be the undertones. I really like the undertones a lot, but, you know, for the entire body of work, I guess I'm going to go with UFO and Lights Out. If I had the live one, um, that live album called? I can't remember, but if I had it, that would be my favorite UFO album. 
Velvet Underground, self-titled. West Coast Pop Art Experimental Group. Experimental Band. West Coast Pop Art Experimental Band. I'm taking their uh, third record. That's my favorite. Uh, yeah, W's. That was a tough choice, too. Uh, my favorite Ecstasy album, XTC album, Drums and Wires. I can't believe that's still in such great shape. I got that when it came out. I, it's been well preserved. Uh, cool. Inner sleeve. And, uh, yeah, here's one where I'm definitely duplicating uh, Speaker's Corner. I'm pretty sure he, that's what he did. Close to the Edge. Yes. Fantastic album. Cool. Inner sleeve with the words. And for Z, uh, you know, I thought about uh, Trace Ombres. Uh, but as far as the overall body of work, I mean, the zombies definitely come out ahead of ZZ Top for me. So, taking uh, Odyssey and Oracle. Date label. Uh, oh, some cool inner sleeve, super posters, giant size posters, and some records. So that's it. One band from uh, each letter of the alphabet. So uh, thanks a lot for coming up with the idea, uh, Calico Silver. I think it's a great idea, and uh, I hope some more people will do uh, responses. I'd be interested to know uh, what your responses are. Do you have any uh, thoughts on the ones that I picked, or uh, or, or do your own video and uh, uh, respond to Calico Silver. So uh, that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Have a great day.